Hey guys, it's time to do a speed test comparison between the iPhone 10 versus the iPhone 8 Plus. These two phones have same internals. We have the Apple 11 processor with 3 gigs of RAM. So why am I doing the speed test? It's because the software experience on the iPhone 10 is completely different compared to the iPhone 8 Plus, especially with the introduction of the gestures and you know we don't have the home buttons so we have all that stuff going on so the software experience is different as well as the screen resolution is different so this is a 18 by 9 aspect ratio display so I just really want to see how the software will go with the hardware compared to how it goes uh, with the iPhone 8 Plus. So both phones are currently running on iOS 11.1 uh, which is the official version that got released a couple of days ago so let's just quickly test out both phones speed wise. Okay so starting off with a boot up comparison uh, monster versus monster first time ever A11 versus A11 so let's go ahead and boot them up at the same time 3, 2, 1, go! Okay let's see both came up about the same maybe the A plus was a tiny bit faster there but let's see who will boot up faster so okay yes the A plus seems to be ahead no the iPhone 10 boots up faster I think the A plus continued to show us the Apple logo first uh, but the iPhone 10 eventually came up to be the winner. Of course, that was the first step of our speed test. And uh, let's get right into the apps opening test. So first off, we have the basic stuff, which is going to be the phone dialer. So here we go. And as you can see, about the same on both phones. Next up, we got settings. And again, it seems to be very similar. Launching some third-party applications. So first off, we have the subway surfers. And let's see. The iPhone 10 was tiny bit quicker there, if I'm not wrong, it showed the uh, tap to play area first compared to the iPhone 8 Plus, so that was just a hairline quicker performance there. I guess we're going to open up more games, so uh, next we have the pinout. Exactly the same, no difference whatsoever. How about Spotify? The iPhone 10 faster. So far, the iPhone 10 has showed that it is a little bit faster. Some in some areas, of course, we have to test out more applications. So let's see. We have the smash hit. Here we go. Again, uh, about the same. Can't say any difference there. Of course, uh, the applications that are not optimized they showed us some black bars. Uh, for the iPhone display because it has a different uh, aspect ratio. So this is 16 by 9, this is 18 by 9. Next we're launching Alto, Alto's Adventure. And I think the iPhone 8 Plus was a little bit quicker there. Pretty close again. Yeah, the iPhone 8 Plus seems to be tiny bit faster there. Of course, these type of differences you won't be noticing in real life test-wise, but uh, like I said, software experience is, is different, so I wanted to see uh, the performance. So SoundCloud will be the next application, and it seems to be about the same. iPhone 10 might be a tiny bit faster with the, with the loading. Let's check out Instagram. And, okay, different feeds on both phones, but you can see they were pretty pretty fast. They loaded up the application pretty much equally, have different feeds. I don't know why they're showing different feeds because it's the same account signed in. Let's check out my profile, and that got loaded up at the same time fully with no problem whatsoever. We got the first post. You can see no difference at all. Let's check out Cora. And the iPhone 10 is faster again, so the iPhone 10 showed us now a couple of times that it is a tiny bit quicker in some applications. I mean, uh, so like, of course, not going to be that noticeable in real life wise, but then again, the difference is a difference. Lastly, we'll be opening up the cameras on both phones at the same time. Here we go. And about the same on both phones. Time for the browsing action. So we have Safari versus Safari. First website we have is gsmarena.com. 
and uh, let's see which one is going to be faster for us with this website. You can see the iPhone 10 was a tiny bit quicker again, followed by the iPhone 8 Plus. Both phones came to the website and they loaded up quickly. But again, the, uh, the 10 seems to be a little bit faster. Again, scrolling looks really smooth on both phones. Can't see any difference even with zooming in or out. Obviously here you will see the differences on both phones that uh, the iPhone 10, of course having a brighter display compared to the iPhone 8 Plus because it's the OLED display thanks to uh, Samsung because they actually made the display. But the point is that the iPhone 10 display is definitely a lot better compared to what we have on the iPhone 8 Plus. Next we got WWE.com. And let's see if the iPhone 8 Plus can come back or not. Uh, iPhone 10 wins it easily this time. And that was a small margin there. But you can see that the 10 definitely uh, performs uh, better it's slightly in some areas. So let's see the RAM management. So 3GB RAM on both phones. So I'm just going to quickly go ahead and open up phone dialer. You can see kept there. We got settings. Subway surfers. Still there. How about pinout. Spotify, smash hit, still there. Alto, it's also there, no refresh at all. SoundCloud, Instagram, Quora, and back to the Safari browser. So overall, you can see that the iPhone 10 and the A Plus, they are very similar. Of course, they have the same processor. Uh, the RAM management has been incredibly equal on both phones, and they kept all the applications in the memory, uh, despite having three gigabyte of RAM, thanks to the iOS. Of course, performance is not going to be a deciding factor between these two phones. Some other things, such as mainly the display, will be uh, the most deciding factor. So, I mean, the display has definitely gone a lot better, and of course, the iPhone iPhone 10 is the best iPhone that Apple offers right now on the planet. So 8 Plus, of course, it's an old thing. It's a 2014 phone.